So, hi guys, I'm bringing another coaching session with Danny. Thank you for tuning yeah, in. Let's go. And thank you for sending me the replay and taking time off work on lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Pretty Gotta get awesome. the grind some, somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what, what do you like to start? I usually, I, I wanted to start either um crit or belt so i tried to get the crit didn't get it so i went to to get belt belt is interesting. usually yeah i usually slam like defensive items first to get a win streak early uh -huh. okay uh, or i just go for crit and try to get like a, a good first item to with damage to pop off rather than whatever. rather than go for uh armor or yeah, I mean, a sword is really contested, so I don't know if it's kind of hard to get it early if uh, if I'm unlucky, so I prefer to go with belt, because no one uses belt anyway, so. or it's uh -huh. not as okay. contested, I guess. Because belts, like, if you get two belts, I want, yeah, I, you have two belts right now, so I want to see what you do with two belts. Yeah, the slam more works. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I feel Warmox doesn't do much. I mean, it's it's okay early, but overall... So I, I like going uh, Sword, Spear, or Armor. Okay. Because yeah. there's like more flexible items, right? Like Tear, mm -hmm. is, if you get Blue Buff or Chalice, those are really good. Otherwise, Tear isn't that great. Uh, sword is great for Zeke's or for A early on, yeah. even maybe even like crit. And armor, bramble, or uh, red buff or on target cape now. Yeah. Um, do you think you're going you're going cultist or duelist? Uh, no, I just get I get um, my chosen next, so I just go for whatever the chosen I get, and I got the moonlight. The Sandra chosen, I think. But but now you have a Callista, so it just um, Callista. I don't I don't value Callista much, so typically you should just sell it and buy all the one costs. Okay, so yeah, my process was I got the Callista right. So uh, let me see what I get next. If I get like dual list, I could just put Callista on play and and try and get it early. If I get like a chosen dual list, it's good also. But I'm, okay. I'm not sure if it's that valuable. I guess. Uh, well, I'm just telling you, like, yes, that that is like, if you actually thought about it, then okay, you can you can keep her if you think uh, you, you might get a duelist or cultist. So if you're keeping her for possible cultists, yes. Otherwise, I, I I typically sell everything like auto sell, just so that I can maybe hit a two star Nami, two star Nidalee, or two star Elise. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because I value I value that I value that more. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Properly. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Yeah. So the the issue here with this board is you don't have any front line. Yasuo is yeah. not enough front line. Yeah. So I would much rather have you sell the Kalista and buy Wukong and Threat. Okay, yeah, for sure. You kind of end up okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you hadn't if you hadn't gotten that orb, because you already got Callista, so you didn't like you were not uh like it wasn't guaranteed that you would get you would get some some uh gold or a unit. So then you would be stuck with okay. Interesting. I do understand the level up. I do understand that. Because you want to... Yeah, I wanted to put my front line up, so I didn't... You want to get a better get chosen, so you, so you leveled up. That makes sense. And I got, and yeah, and for the chosen also. That's the two factors I leveled up for was to put the, the Wukong in and to get the better chosen. But I end up getting <laughs> the Sandra anyway. But... I, I think, Van like, especially, like, imagine... Imagine this Wukong is Vanguard. 
Yeah. So he has, I don't know how much, like, almost 17, 1800 HP, something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe 1700 HP right now. Imagine if he has uh, 150 armor or whatever. So, like, if you have the Wukong in, and uh, the Thresh in over Kalista, the Wukong will provide so much more value. Yeah. Yeah. So either put the Warmogs on, on Yasuo, so he gets 50% more from his Exile buff, or put the Warmogs on a Vanguard and play another Vanguard. Okay, okay. Because gotcha. like, like yeah. you get all of this extra HP, but it's not really... You, you know, uh, I discussed this yesterday with someone, or like a few days ago, you know effective HP, what effective HP is? Uh, not really. So effective HP is if you have uh, 1000 HP and zero armor, 1000 damage kills you. If you have 1,000 right. HP and, uh, okay, I don't know the number, but like 50% uh, physical resistance, then mm -hmm. 2,000 damage kills you. So yeah, effective okay. HP is if you have vanguards, effectively, your Wukong, who has 1,000 HP, if he has 50% resistance to physical, has 2,000 HP against physical damage. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So thanks more. Yeah, it's so, more available, yeah, for sure. So just like... This board is a lot weaker than if you had the Vanguard in, even though you have mm -hmm. Duelist. Because you have Diana yeah. for damage, sort of, and you can you can keep the Yasuo. So you hit the yeah, but Moonlight is still amazing. So I'm still interested what you what you do here if you realize you need frontline or not. Yeah, definitely take that out. Makes sense that you thank God, yeah, good. Very good. Yeah. So that's essentially so that's another another cool thing. Another cool thing about coaching. Usually usually like if, if I'm coaching players who are relatively high skill like Diamond or Master, they kind yeah. of do what I say like a turn or two late. So I wanted you to have this board two turns ago and now you have it. Yeah. Or like one turn yeah, ago yeah. for sure. One turn ago for sure and now you have it. Cause look how tanky that Wukong is. Is it me or is it kind of choppy? It's a bit choppy, yeah. I'm quite sure why. Yeah, over the normal speed. Better? I hope you don't get too attached to the quick sell her. I think I do sell her, yeah. Yeah. But this is like okay, the the, the thing is um starting belt it doesn't really do anything for most comps, right? Right. Like imagine yeah, I mean the glove would be perfect here. But imagine at least you had a tier, like maybe you could go for chalice. If you had a sword, you could go for IE. Right. So like, yeah. I so know what's, I, your, what's the best opening for you in your or best item for you in your opinion for the the first carousel? Uh, as I said, sword, tier, or armor. Uh, they're all equal uh, for you, and like priority wise. Priority, it's sword. I can get it. All by mm -hmm. armor, far by tier. Okay. And like, I, you can play with almost anything, but belt is, belt is the second worst only after cloak. Okay. So I, I like maybe you've had successive belt, but I think it it just sets you back. Uh yeah, I've tried. Uh, sometimes like I have success uh, success with belt, but I mean it's only when I roll the right items, right? So. I think yep. it's better to just go for, for what you're saying. It makes more sense. If you get a sword or armor, then and the, the thing is, like, I don't understand how you got a glove here. That doesn't make any sense to me. But I guess it made sense to your opponents to give you the glove. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went for the glove to get the dual gunplay for Lissandra, right? So. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's the right play. I'm just surprised they left it for you. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I think you just made yourself weaker. 
a lot weaker. Please explain why you did this. Uh, so yeah, I went to, I wanted to put the bro the the Silas in to get five more knights so I can just scale my late game. Uh, my mid game, I mean. Uh, that was the plan. So I put the the bro the Silas in, then I had the brawler, so I put the brawler. Okay, okay. But putting in Silas makes you much 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 weaker. Do you know why? No. Okay, how do Moonlight yeah, work? I, I mean, I guess because of the Vanguards, right? The effective HP. No, 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 no. That, that, that's one thing, but how do Moonlights work? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So instead of yeah, having yeah, a yeah. three-star Liss or a three-star Diana, now you have a two-star Silas. Yeah, 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 that makes sense, yeah. So I'd say you, you might even lose this round because of that. I think, yeah, yeah, I think I, I get butchered this round. Because you don't have a three, like if you had a three star, mm -hmm. it's really powerful. But you have four two stars with like one synergy, which is brawler, which is not really a synergy. Okay. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Yeah. Wait, are you buying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So had you kept the vanguards, you would have a three star Diana or a three star Lissandra. You'd actually be stronger. Mm hmm. So I I mean it's cool that you're going for five moonlight. You can go for five moonlight as like a mid game transition. That's that's completely yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean don't put them in unless you have the five the five moonlight. Yeah. Right. So and the other part was that I got the Maokai two star, so that's why I put it in. Uh, but I guess yeah, that's that's not valuable at all. Okay, right now, putting in anything else but the Silas would be better. Like, if you put oh. in the pike, it would be so much better than Silas. So, so much better. Because you have yeah, three star Yeah, assassin trait, yeah. And for the three star. Assassin trait and, and the, the three star. star. Yeah, yeah, the three star, yeah. I didn't think about the three star part, yeah. I was just tunnel visioning so hard on the five moon fight. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it makes really much, uh, a lot of sense, yeah. So it's kind of unfortunate that you didn't win streak the... The whole yeah, thing. I mean that's that's my mistake. So if I had kept the the vanguard, I would probably win streak. You would more than likely win streak because you'd have a star. Oh, nice! This is better free, Andra. Mhm. Mm wow. So Andra's two star. Okay. Yeah. And now, now it's fine. Like now. Um. By the way, uh, quick test question: What's better than Maokai here? Best unit you could have right now over Maokai. Over what I got on the shop? No, 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 like in general. Uh, probably. Mm, I guess Warwick. Yep, Warwick is is amazing here. For Hunter, Hunter and for Hunter and Brawler. Brawler. Yeah, I mean it's it's very likely that it'll happen, but he's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had a Warwick, I'd instantly change. I think I do get a work, and I think I do instantly change it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. These items are a bit questionable. Yeah, I think that's another issue I have. Is that I'm just I keep slamming items randomly. I don't think. Okay. I okay. 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 So what comp are you gonna play this game? I was gonna stick with Moonlight, uh, Lysandra Moonlight. Should okay. I get her three star, get Silas three star, and just go for uh, all the center? But I don't have items for it, so I think uh, that's my mistake. Do you want to know my play, or do you want to know the right play? Both. <laughs> so my play would probably be to slam, slam Chalice and mm -hmm. stick with Moonlight. The correct play is most likely to pivot out of this. Okay, okay. Because, like, you have three, or like, you have six components, three items, and you don't really have anything you can use on, on Diana or Alessandra. Yeah. Possibly, possibly, you can sell the Maokai and put those items on Diana. But but the Warmogs, like, the Warmogs, it would kind of screwed you. Like, mm -hmm. warm, like, the Belt start, because Belt is like a support item. And the reason, right. the reason you don't want to start belt is if you find a sword or armor, belt or, or wait, sword, armor, anything else, 
Oh, you don't want to no. Like if oh, you, you have mean to with the build sword, you mean with the build sword, yeah. You yeah. want a sword of armor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why not start sword of armor? And if you don't get a belt, you can probably get it from the second carousel. Mm -hmm. Quite likely, because it's it's just like a, it's not the main main dish, it's like a side dish. You don't want to just yeah. start with a side dish and then you have like two side dishes, like where the hell is the main dish? Like you get the main dish. And then you get the the garnish and the side dish to, to go with it, but if you right. don't have, if you don't have the main thing, then it's like end up with warmogs and dragon claw, right. which warmogs is probably one of the worst items right now. I mean, there's bad things like um, uh, what is it called? Armor and tear. That's really useless now. But it's just oh adept. yeah, the frozen heart. Frozen heart is just like adept. So stuff like that. But then, mm -hmm. the Warmogs is really, really bad. Um, can you give me a composition that could utilize Warmogs, if you think about it? Yeah. Who can use Warmogs? Uh, I mean, I guess only people with Vanguard, right? You have an Ari in the shop. Oh, you mean in, in this? In this oh, no, 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 I mean, in, yeah, it's, it's, it's Vanguard Mystic. Yeah. Because if you have four vanguards, four mystics, and you give your vanguard a thousand HP more and a dragon mm -hmm. claw, yeah, how is that vanguard gonna die? Like if you put it on Sejuani, she's probably not gonna die. She's gonna stun everything like three times at least. Yeah, so the correct way here would be to pivot out to to vanguard mystic with Ori. Yes. In the, in the shop. Yeah, makes I, really. I, I, I wouldn't do it either, most likely because I'm stubborn, just like you. I'm like, I'm going Moonlight. <laughs> I got a Moonlight Lissandra. Fuck this. I'm going Moonlight. But yeah. the correct play is actually, like, if you want to improve, if you want to get to, like, Master and, and Beyond, is to pivot into Vanguard Mystic. Because yeah. with these items, like, these items, the only the only units that can use that can use uh, the Warmogs is a Vanguard that has a lot of armor and a lot of magic resistance because it's 1,000 HP can be worth, like, two, two and a half thousand 2,500 HP. Mm -hmm. Well, here is just literally 1,000. Okay, you have a uh, Dragon Claw, which means this does not die to magical damage, but it dies to physical damage. Yeah. yeah and sense. you have no items on your Moonlight. So you're not really playing Moonlight. If, if like, you're, you, the, the comp you're playing, you need to have items on your carries. Yeah, yeah for sure. So it's like, is the Maokai the, the, like, okay, you have tanks and carries, but like, you don't have any items for your, for your carries. Yeah, I have zero damage. Yeah. You have decent damage because your whole board is two star. So you have like decent damage for stage two, stage three. But yeah, you might win here and there, but it's, yeah. Okay. You win yeah, this it's one. Really, it's really close though. That's the issue I'm having. Because you don't have any damage. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And like the play, the play obviously is to greed out for at least a blue buff. But it's like I don't like the fact that you're in this position. So that that's like general, like the position you're in, uh, just a bad position right now. Mm -hmm. So you, you like, but this is like through your item choices and your item slams, you already set yourself. Kind of behind and by coming to this comp you're more behind um i don't know like warmogs is is as i mentioned one of the worst items you, you slammed it like you you could have you could have had you played the vanguard you could have at least kept your win streak or you would still be on your win streak though that's very unfortunate yeah i didn't lost that one yeah. round by by making sure oh that you're still yeah i mean I win a lot on the, the early and mid, but then I start just getting destroyed. Well, early mid, yeah, you have a lot, a lot of, like, you have two-star board. Like, what beats a two-star board? Typically, people have, exactly. like, ma maybe yeah. two, like, they're chosen, and maybe one or two more two-star. Um, if you're not, like, in panic mode, you should all you should buy all the one costs. Oh, when I yeah, when I roll, I just buy the the ones I need. So 
but sure. You, you know, you but know, well, like the the role odds and that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense for for me to do that. I did the math of one cost. With one cost, it's somewhere around a percent of a percent. Mm -hmm. But like, even though it's zero point zero five of a percent, for example, it's still higher than nothing. Right. And if you have 30 seconds and you're not doing anything, you, you might as well buy the other one cost and then, then roll. Like, And you, you're going to pick up the Diana here or you're... Uh, I was... I'm just tunnel visioning for Alessandro and then for Silas because I don't want to keep the neither the, the Diana or the Aphelios. Okay. Um, so that is wrong understanding of the game. Okay. Uh, what is the what is the composition? What is the composition you're going for? Uh, the one I went for was. Uh, no, not the one you went like the one you, right now, like what yeah. do you want your composition to be like on on six, seven, eight, seven and eight ideally. Like... Oh, for you, yeah. So, I see what you're saying. Uh, so right now I would probably, I'm looking for probably, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, Aurelia. Okay. And uh, a Warwick, so I can get, get out the, the Maokai, and then I would be looking for Lux for the, for the Divine and the um, yes, Edler. Okay, that, that doesn't sound too bad. Then I go for also Shen. Okay. Why not just play talent comp? All right. So the the way the way I play this, the way I play this, when I do play it, and I think it's I don't I'm like I'm not saying your way is just wrong, but I think this might be stronger. So as you were saying, origin. Original class. It's all... We have Diana and Lissandra. Oh, okay. You said uh, Silas, right? Yeah, yeah, Silas. Then you said you want the Shen anyway. Mm hmm. And you want Irelia. Yeah. You want. Warwick also. Warwick, okay. You want Warwick. You said you want so Lux. Lux, yeah. Then the other one would be Lysen for the for the vine at the uh, level eight. Seven units. So what is the? What am I missing? Uh, our really is there. She, da, da, da. Maybe Anna. But hopefully. Mm, oh, uh, Zillion, Zillion for the Mystic. Anna or someone else. Zillion, okay, but Zillion's a lot. Zillion for the Mythic and Jenna for the placeholder, I guess. Until I get Zillion. Okay. Can I can I clean this up a little bit? Mm hmm So you have the right idea. But I believe that. This is a lot stronger, and it's. Yeah, the gem. This is pretty standard talent comp. Yeah. Look how like look how the synergies line up nicely. Then you put in. Yeah, it would make much more sense actually. Yeah. yeah, doesn't this doesn't this look a lot cleaner? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So this yeah. is this is Pike. Mm hmm And this is Lux. Yeah. Right? So just like you replace Lux with Lissandra for Dazzler, replace this this with Pike with uh yeah, Pike for Assassin. Yeah, Pike, so yeah. And I have Pike at the match I'm doing, so yeah, that would make a lot of sense to transition to that. So this this, this should be a transition. <clears throat> yeah. And then 
Like, you either want something like this on the Sandra, one, one of these, or a Jewel Gauntlet, mm -hmm. and then maybe a Giant Slayer, or, or I played I played this with, with QSS, I hit it. I think I had this, actually, and I, I can show you the game, because the game was really funny, just, I mean, uh, in my low chest, not the, not the whole game. Mm -hmm. So something like this, and then Diana wants items, I think her best install items are this, that obviously Titans, and yeah. then she, like her best install. Yeah. And this can be this can be Hand of Justice as well, but I think this is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this this should be your comp, this should be the comp you're aiming for. With either Lissandra right. carry or Diana carry. And you kind of, and then like, yes, you can put, you can put the, the Warmogs and this on. Yeah, but that I, makes a lot of a lot of sense. So, but uh, I just tunnel visioned really hard on that comp, so I so didn't just even change try to tunnel general. vision on this comp. Try to tunnel vision on this comp more. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And this is this is just the. I mean, it, it was completely vain. Okay, when was? Yeah, here we go. Look at this. So, <laughs> first place, Diana Carey. Second place, Lissandra Carey yeah that's how powerful it is and he went for he went for six assassin got an assassin's back mm -hmm. and he had three star pike and star akali that, that i guess that's fine yeah it's really powerful yeah but i have the comp i showed you except i didn't mm -hmm. i didn't yeah. uh because we were we were contesting each other so i didn't get to eight and i i couldn't find two star two star shit i could find uh yone yeah right but i mean this is still good enough to get me second place because i have decent enough Enough with sound items. Yeah. Yeah. So this this should kind of be the comp you're aiming for. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. But let, let's we're gonna of course we're gonna watch you play this. Yeah, my downfall. <laughs> like you can like you can play what you, what you wanted to play like Warwick and Silas and stuff like that. But the end goal should be like the ideal comp. That that's the right. whole point of, of like playing flexibly. And if for for example you get like uh easy two star Sajwani and two star Aatrox, you just play them. Right. So that that's another thing. Like if you two star like a, a powerful four cost that you can use that I mean you can use like any powerful two four cost, I will play Sajwani two star, for example. Just like randomly. So she is that good. Right. That, that yeah, she's that powerful, yeah. So I, I really, I'm surprised you're you did, uh, Diana. Yeah, like uh, I was saying, I just tunnel vision really hard on on the specific comp I was thinking about. So. Uh, and what like now if I if I like I mean yeah, why do you think Silas is not the play? Like even 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 uh, if the comp was good, why is Silas not not that good? Why is Diana better? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess Diana, the, the assassin trait is better than the brawl trait, I think. Oh. It, it's like no. to do with the unit, but yeah. Keep guessing, I guess. Uh, yeah, I have no idea then. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about it, I was thinking it a lot in the aspect of the trait itself. It's do with gold and to do with roll probabilities. So Diana is a one oh, cost, oh, so it costs see. nine gold. The Sandra mm -hmm. costs nine gold. And statistically, you should be getting them more on, on five. You right. should be getting more Dianas. I think you had you, you probably had uh, two two star Dianas by now, could have had. Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. So you, you get them more early and you want to roll for the Sandra on five. Right? Right. right well, right, right. for Silas, you want to roll like on, on six or seven. Yeah, I rolled on seven, I think. Yeah. But then you want to make like the way Moonlight works, why it's so powerful is because you typically find your Moonlights by stage four. Like your three star mm -hmm. Lissandra or, and three star Diana, or like four star and three star. And that's when you spike. Right. But you're putting off your spike. So you're never like, you're never going to be strong. Like you were strong early, but uh, right now on stage four, 
is when you should spike even more. Because everyone's going right. to be putting in like one star Talon, one star Organa, and like they're going to be looking for their final comp. Right. Well, if you had a four star Sandra right now, it would be even more powerful. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense too. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you would steamroll stage four. And you would need to catch up because you're still level five or level six, and you want to get to seven and eight to put in uh, like the enlightened and the full talent comp. Mm -hmm. Oh god, yeah. these items. Yeah, the items are a bit rough. Right now, I guess it has to be Hodge and Sunfire Cave. I don't think I even slam because I'm just greeting out for the Guild Gunman. Okay, okay, fine. My, fine. my, yeah, so my idea was just greet out to kill the Carousel. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I'll just slam Hodge. But don't you want Morellos anyway? Uh, I mean, I wanted to itemize Alessandra, right? So that's why. But Morello can kind of work on her as well. She. She does splash. Right. Or you put it on, on on Morgana, but you're not playing Morgana. Yeah, I'm not playing Morgana. Yeah. And the thing is, what's your third item? Right? So it could be like Hodge and Trap Claw. Or something. Yeah, I was... Or like Hodge and GA. I don't know. But I think my third item for Lysandra, I just put a Dragon Claw I get at later stages. Because I don't have, I just have her with two items after the carousel. Yeah. And do you know how many more items you you will get this game? Statistically, how yeah, many more you should get? Uh, one, two, three, four. So probably one, one or two more items, right? So it's like. Uh, what you should so. get one component. What well, you have one component guaranteed. Yeah, one component exactly. Yeah. But that's it. You have one guaranteed component. Yeah, I said item, but uh, I was yeah. meaning the I was meaning component. Yeah. Yeah. So on the cat, but like statistically, most likely you should get a rod because you haven't gotten any rods. Exactly. That's what. That's what but I was thinking also. Yeah. You're just gonna bleed this whole stage hoping to get a rod. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You hit the four weeks. So I think I instantly change him. That I'm looks a sure. lot nicer. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer for now. And here, uh, I think this is a mistake. I should have put in a Dragon Claw on, on the Sandra, but I just didn't. No, 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 no. Here, it's too early. You think it's early? I just well, put here, in the like here, I would put I would put Hodge and aim for for la for uh, GA. Okay, okay, I see. Because Hodge means she casts like one one auto when she casts. Mm hmm And you can get the the damage roll, the healing roll isn't that bad. Like it's not a perfect item, but it could have slammed it on four one. Yeah, I see. And then you still have then you still have the option of getting a trap claw or a GA. Mm hmm Which again are not perfect items, but they they do work. One cost rod, you should be able to get that. Hopefully. I don't remember if I get it here or if I get it on the PV, actually. But what's another thing if you get if you get two rods that you can... Uh, Rabadons. Uh, Rabadons or IE and Ludens. Or she is a Dazzler, uh, right? IE. Uh, oh, Jewel, yeah, Jewel yeah. Gotten and Ludens, sorry. Jewel Gotten and Ludens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this I don't understand at all. You take bow over glove. Yeah, I just panicked. <laughs> I was just, he just stole my item randomly. I was like, okay, but because glove, I just like randomly. As I mentioned, you can you can go hodge, hodge jewel gauntlet for example, or hodge trap claw. Mhm. Mm yeah. With, with bow, you can make, I guess, ZZ, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I make ZZ. Yeah, I make ZZ. But I'd rather get three items on my my Lissandra ASAP. So that would be a Hodge, and that would be another glove for for Gauntlet. 
Yeah, okay. that makes a lot, of, a lot more sense, yeah. Or trap claw, I guess. So. Yeah, so this is when I just start getting destroyed because I, I can't find for a stylus 3. Because you have one item. You have one item on your carry. Yeah, also that. And that's exactly what, what happened in my, my sharpshooter game. Like, I didn't have items for the sharpshooter, so I shouldn't be playing them. Right. Like, you should have pivoted to Vanguard Mystic because you had items for that comp. And that was yeah, on. Yeah, makes a lot, a, lot more, a lot more sense. Now and that was on three know. one, right? That was you were like fifty gold, and you hadn't rolled. So you hadn't rolled a single single gold. So like, okay, I pivot out of moonlight. I haven't lost any gold. Like I haven't rolled for anything. So essentially, you didn't lose any gold. You lost one round. You're really strong. If you pivoted to Vanguard Mystic there, like I'm pretty yeah, sure it's an easy sure. easy top four. You mentioned that this is not a top four. So no, it's a fifth. And, and I got a second place with. with Vanguard Mystic. I lost to three star Ash. And Vanguard yeah, I Mystic Ari. Vanguard Mystic. It's really strong. And it's still strong. I, I had I had nothing on her. I had EA, Winsos, and Shojin. And Ari still oh, carried. Damn. Ari still was able to carry. Because I, I didn't know I was yeah. going Ari, but I had a GA and like GA is always good, so I'm like, okay, G yeah. on Ari. And then I made sub optimal items, but I still got second. And that I was one off Ari three and the other guy had Ash. Ash 3, so of course. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense for sure. But yeah, so these guys actually have like real comps. And 5 Moonlight is is a good power spike on stage 3, as you see. On stage 4, it does absolutely not. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. Because <laughs> like, the units have no synergies apart from Moonlight. So you have three star Silas and three star, I guess, Diana or that like it doesn't really do much. Like the three star Silas is kind of good, but then you don't need Diana and Philos anyway, right? Right. Uh, you can put in, yeah, like yeah, they should have put in the Talon. I think Talon, I'm thinking. Yeah. Talon locks, but it's like one star Talon over three star Diana. It's tough. Yeah. You wanna you wanna pivot out of this? Yeah, I should have just pivoted out. Yeah. So. Or it, or it just did the thing with the Diana because I probably would have gotten the Diana three also. So. Yeah. So very nice. You have a uh, amazing Warwick. Why are those items not on Silas, who's gonna be three star? Oh, because then he's going to get four star. <laughs> no, but like, it. why are not like at least two of those items on him then? Right, I put the ZZ Rot in, and maybe another item on him. Like, if you have Dragon Claw Bramble on Silas, yeah. That seems pretty insane. Yeah. That like, if he's, if he's three star, and his, his ultimate like smacks pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or potentially, we already slammed the Jewel Gauntlet, but potentially you could have had Silas carry if you're going for a three-star Silas. Because he does more damage than the Sandra, I think, as three-star. Oh, will... I don't know that, actually. I think he... I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure, like, since he's a two-cost, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, it's it's meme. I, I, never, I, I mean, never do this. Like, you're never going to play this comp again, I hope. But yeah, no. just to see, he does 1,000, while right. Lissandra does 900. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And he has essentially low mana as well, so like, blue buff is kind of okay, but like if he had Jeweled Gauntlet, Jeweled Gauntlet, Bramble, and uh, Declaw, mm -hmm. and 1,000 damage, he would just slam down and kill everything. So... Yeah. Because the sound is not really working out much, but. Yeah. So this is just like playing a like. Not even knowing what a, what the meta comp is. Right. So like playing like playing flexibly, like what what my definition definition of playing flexibly is, mm -hmm. is uh, you play whatever you get, and you slowly 
pivot into the perfect comp. Right. So no matter what, I would slowly pivot into, I would pivot this into like talent comp with Cassandra and Diana. Right. Hopefully adding, had, or like when I get to eight, I want to add in Yone, but if I get a two-star Ezreal or a two-star Azir or two-star set, I, I might play that instead. Right. And if I have two-star Vanguards, I will play the Vanguards. Like if I have Sedge and Sedge and Aatrox, I will try to play that. Like Sedge, Aatrox, and uh, maybe a Jin and Zillion or something like that. I will, I will try to play that. So you, oh, wait, I missed it. Sorry, you, you pivoted out. Yeah, I took them out. I put the looks and the zillion because I got a zillion, right? So I just put him in. And I'm just looking for the silos, but I, I don't get it. So I think after the next round, I just level to it. Like, Silas is hard to look for because also the odds are lower. Like, the odds are always yeah. lower. Because yeah. that's why another thing you why you want to be aiming for one star, uh, yeah, one cost unit. Because they're just easy to get. Right, even here it's 45. You right. can never get 45 on two costs. That's why, like, right. three starring one cost is what you should be aiming for if you're going Moonlight. Two right. costs are much harder to, to like, to three star. And they're not yeah, worth it because you have to be on seven. And then, like, four costs, yeah, you can do it on eight or on nine, but, like, eight is fine. Yeah. But, like, two costs are kind of in this, like, you don't want to be stuck on seven rerolling. You want to go to eight if you can. So right. that's why two costs are in this like dead zone of like okay thirty percent it's not as good as, as forty five or as fifty five. Thirty five is bad here, and then it's like okay I have thirty five odds to find a three cost, or at least like be looking for a three costs. So two cost, I don't know. There's no is there any? I don't think there's any cost you would want to. Jax three maybe. Jax is okay as a tank, but it's like nothing really went to the game. Here, out of these yeah. guys, out of the out of the two costs. Yeah. Like it's not like if you hit Annie three, it's good. If you hit Jack three, it's good. A uh, Pike three is kind of cool in the. If you're playing Diana. If you're playing Diana and you get Pike three, then obviously you don't go the Talon comp. You go the Assassin way, like the Assassin, like with four assassins. Mm -hmm. Pike three. But then like three costs are, are much better. They can actually do, like Jinx can do something. Katarina is kind of okay. Kindred is amazing. So like. Yeah. yeah. And one cost? Yeah, one cost. It's only Yasuo or uh, Diana and Sandra. Potentially Nami. Yeah, I don't know, but let me build if it's still good. With and the now people are like rolling with the Wayne comp, which apparently is a comp as well. <laughs> so that's. Yeah. But this is like that. That's why Silas is, feels bad because it's like he's hard to three star and it, it's not worth it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That like, makes a lot of sense. If yeah. you are rolling on five and you find Silas three star, okay, play him. But otherwise, just get shit on. Uh, by the way, you have a free tier. You're on Alien, I think. Yeah. You're not getting any more components, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just uh yeah, just holding out for no reason. You were just yeah, I guess <laughs> tilted or whatever, because this is bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, but then you're not you're not playing the optimal comp. Uh, you're not no, yeah, you're not hitting units for, for sure. your comp because you're. Oh my god, I e. Where are you going? Are you serious? Uh, I went for, yeah, I went for the circle. What the fuck is this? I trolled. I was tilted. At this point, I was tilted really hard. Like I e could have guaranteed you top four here, or like yeah. you you would be very likely to get top four. Yeah, I see it now, yeah. On a five cost, so it's at like five gold. So... I just, I just, I just tilted really hard. <laughs> because of the silos, I couldn't find him. Yeah. So, yeah, double... Double Dragon Claw, very nice. That's trash, but whatever. So the IE would have been so much better here. So, so much better. Yeah, 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 for sure. I see that for sure. Because that would be like almost perfect items. Oh no, and you. Bro. Um, do you honestly, like, I don't know if, if you're trolling or not, but do you honestly believe 4 Divine is, is a trait? 
No, I just put it in because I was about to lose, so but let's put it whatever. Like, because you you mentioned something like with listen. For divine yeah, yeah. is not a trait. Divine okay. is okay. not a trait. It does not exist. <laughs> it's nice when you have Lux and Irelia. They give you divine. Right. It's, it's like a bonus. But never ever go for two. Like never actually aim to get more divines in. Okay, I see. Yeah. Like yeah, okay. Maybe four divine is gonna be a little bit better because your Warwick is kind of tanky, so it might help. But, um, I don't know how quick your reactions are, like how old you are. But I think I, I'm kind of old, and I I would still be quick enough to sell the, to sell the Jackson by the Yone here. Right. I guess you don't do it because you don't know how powerful Yone is. But I know he's powerful. I just tunnel vision on the divine. Here, I think because really? I, I looked at him and I was thinking about it, yeah. but I just, I just, yeah. Because three Whatever. adept is completely brutal. Like, I know you want yeah, three adept in every comp, every comp you can put a three adept, you put it in. Yeah, yeah. Nice scouting. Oh, okay. He did early sound. I guess he doesn't scout either. That's that's fine. Oh, oh my god, yeah, this is so frustrating. So imagine if that had been Jeweled Gauntlet. Those units are dead. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they're right. so, so, so low, but Jeweled Gauntlet would, uh, IE would give you 75% yeah, yeah, more damage them, yeah. or whatever, so like... Yeah. No, for sure, that that's... Uh, I just got tilted, and you know, I was just like, okay, fuck this. <laughs> uh, I played it really bad at the end. But yeah, I see, I see my mistakes. Yeah. But it's like, sure. I know, like at every point of the game, it's like this game is fucked, but I still gotta make most of it, and it's definitely Zillion over Jax. Zillion ulti is like the most broken ulti in the game. Right. It's it's two free Guardian Angels. It's no, no, no. It's not even Guardian. It's better than Guardian Angel. It's right. better than Guardian Angel because it's it's speed buff as well once you revive. So right. it's like. Guardian Angel plus plus Zeke's. Right. So like if he casts, he gives two units Guardian Angel and Zeke's buff. I, I don't know exactly the numbers, but I know it's like insane attack speed on top of the fact that they revive. And look at right. that. Look at that. If he had the tier, he would have cast it before he died. No, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> when I watch this back, it's kinda obvious some of my mistakes. Yeah, good, good, good. So here, I, I'm not sure if you win this, but probably you could have won this had he cast it and had he protected, or at least you would maybe kill another unit. No, I think I die here. Yeah. No, no, but like had, had Zillion cast it. So. Oh, I didn't, uh, yeah, probably not though. I don't think. But if, if I you, had IE, maybe. If yeah, the IE would have been amazing. IE, that's kind of a huge grief. But I meant, I meant here, because you get jumped. Then Zillion gets like hit like once. Now he's, I think this yeah, is almost ready to cast. Here. Yeah, he cast here. And this if is he had, here. He cast here. for sure. But then he just yeah. just dies. Yeah. Yeah. If I had here there, he would he would have cast for sure. And maybe somehow you kill another unit. Maybe if something crucial yeah. revives. Yeah. So, what else yeah. can I uh, advise you on? We, we still have some time, so like, any questions, anything? Yeah, I mean, I think the, my issue here were, were a bit obvious, and the only thing that wasn't obvious for me was the transitions to the, the better comps, I guess. Yeah. So when you were talking about the Vanguard Larry comp, I didn't even see it. Because you had Ari, and there was like a Garen somewhere as well. Right? Yeah, there was a Garen, yeah. So that that's like I'm not saying I would do it. As I told you, like my play would be be stubborn and maybe like I would be stubborn as you. I would right. be rolling for Diana instead of instead of Lissandra. So I would get three star Diana and I would have four star Lissandra. I would probably build the uh, I would build the Hodge and the Jeweled Gauntlet, which would mean I would be stronger a little bit. So right. I'm pretty sure I could eke out a fourth there. Pretty sure, and especially with the Yone and like 
putting in the, the adepts and stuff. So I think I can make it into like a top four, top three. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, your items were fucked from, from the beginning, like because you started belt. Yeah, because I built, yeah. Um, you know this tier list? I don't, I don't use it as much anymore. Like I have it like, but for people who are not in like challenger or grandmaster, I think these things are relatively good. Like bunny, bunny muffins list. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, I, so, I didn't see that one though. Yeah. So this is what you should be aiming for every game when you can, but not forcing it. Right. Then Ash is really amazing as well, and Riven is is powerful too. Ari is still up here. Yeah. So like those are the I guess according to him those are the four best comps. Right. So you should try to play one of these comps. Yeah. And he put Moonlight Diana in B. I would say Moonlight Diana is in S plus. Not like this, but mm -hmm. like this. Just you're just playing this comp. Except for Pike and Lux, you have. Four star Diana and three star uh, Lissandra, or four star yeah. Lissandra and three star Di uh, Diana. Mm -hmm. So I think this comp, like if you play this this OP comp and you just put in instead of two star two star like four star three star, right. it's even stronger. Yeah, for sure. And then important thing I want to show you is here, items. So yeah, glove is fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he puts rod so high. Um, I don't personally value raw that much. Right. But as I mentioned, sword is always the best. The sword builds the like the most items. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Good. Like I do this all like even when I'm like, I know it's random, but like even when I'm like lying in bed and just like up at night thinking, I'm like, okay, so what does sword build? And I'm like, okay, well, sword is really good because you get you get these items. Right. Deathblade is good on hunters. Transfer might be like it's lobby dependent, but it's not terrible usually. Then you have GA, just good on anyone. Bloodthirster right. again, hunters of Talon. Gunblade is not amazing, but for Diana you need it. Shojin is probably the worst item, and then you have Zeke's and IE. Right. So you, you like you 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 can play almost any of these items. That's why sword is so good, because no matter what you get, like if you get armor, if you get uh, belt, if you get glove, if you get Maybe another sword, like you can slam most of these items. Yeah. Same with armor. GA, Bramble, a Locket is okay, and Sunfire. So you have four items you can slam. Yeah. Bow, there's DZ, which is probably the best one out of this, but bow, you don't want bow. Uh, then belt, you have this, this, and this, but it's like the armor and the, and the sword. Armor and the sword right. that you want. And then there's right. easy, like, but that's like kind of desperate. Those are like, des and Morello obviously is fine as well. But it's like, you'd rather get the Rod, because Rod builds into Death Cap, into Ludens, into, into Jeweled Gauntlet, and into Morello, and into Locket. So Rod, maybe that's why Rod is, is good. But I, I don't want to start Rod, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not terrible, but no. Yeah. And then... What I what did I say? And tier, I like tier because you can make uh, chalice, which is really good. You can make blue buff, which is really good, and you can mm -hmm. make hodge, which is fine. Yeah. But obviously, sword is by far the best, and followed by armor. So maybe new tier list would be sword, armor, rod, or like. I'm good. And also, it's like the, the the best thing to look at are the comps. Right. So D Diana needs a. Uh, Sword and Lissandra needs a tear. So th that's like Diana needs sword, Lissandra needs tear. Uh, Talon needs sword. Ash needs sword. Jin needs sword. And Ari can use a sword as well. Right. And sharpshooters also can use swords for Zeke's. Duelists, they can use swords for Yasuo. Altist, whatever. So like, almost all the top comps can use a sword. Right. Then if you look at an armor, like armor, okay, armor can be built for GA, that's kind of okay. Uh, Bramble's never bad in this meta because everyone's playing Talon, or Ash, or IE, but Bramble's always good. Uh, and 
I think uh, Sunfire Cape is decent early on, if you can get a Sunfire Cape. So Armors and Bramble's really good on Riven, so it's like... And then what was the... Rod was kind of okay, and Tier was is also kind of specific, but I, I really like Blue Buff, because Blue Buff is good when this. And there you have uh, Ash. Kindred, Yummy, oh, yeah, yeah. Vigar, yeah. Jinx, Lissandra. And Janna's also... Also good with it. And then like Chosen Teemo, Chosen Vi. Those are like all good blue buff users. That's why blue buff is not terrible. Right. So like from now on and uh Yeah, I had a game had a game. So uh like what you wanna do, I'm pretty sure I did it this game, is you wanna run like run through the sword and know what the next best item is. So here, I think I positioned for it relatively well. No, no, it has to be. So you, you, you sort of run through. There we go. So this was like, actually what I, what I wanted, as, as I mentioned before, you, I always want the sword. I don't get the sword, so I instantly know where I'm running. I get the armor. Right, 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 right. But you, you kind of wanna, you kind of wanna run through the item into your next best item. Yeah. So I, and they're all running there as well. If you if you notice, like everyone else is running for the armor once they once they don't have the sword. Yeah. So that's kind of like your like how you do the carousel. It's like okay, it's sword, armor, rod, here. Right. And you're and you're trying like you're trying to run run like this and you're trying to kind of like see what's available. And if any of these things are available, you, you go for them as fast as you can, like through the item, so that you get at least something. Mm -hmm. And yeah. one thing you can do wait, why did I turn my lead client off? Um I don't know if you, you've done this. It's really it's really good for, for everyone. Is to set up your hotkeys properly, just for the first carousel. And I, I mention this, like, I guess every month or so. Mm -hmm. I mention it to like random, random coaching students because I thought this is common knowledge. But here, the hotkeys are really important. I don't know if you. Yeah, I mean, yep. I have on my eye to run to. Yes, yeah, so I have M. Yeah, mouse button to NA. So you've the changed this. Click. You've changed these, right? So that everything everything moves your your legend. Uh, only the top one, the player move click, the bottom, the attack move, not really. Attack move makes the little legend kind of go towards the direction without, like turn turn to the direction. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then the most important one is. Uh, player movement. Predict, yeah, use one prediction. Yeah, I have that on, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Anything else, buddy? No, Any... uh, I think uh, I understood why, what happened, and I'm going to try just to improve the transitioning and the pivoting out of the, the comps. Good. That's a, a big Good. issue I have. Yeah, so like the comps we're going to be playing are, are these comps. You can look at bunny muffins comps i have similar yeah. comps in my my discord channel as well yeah and uh yeah if you if you need me you you find me on discord and this video is going to be on youtube so check that out so thank you yeah. thank you for getting no, thank you thank you and if Thanks you need help again let me know uh hopefully you get to masters after this by by playing a bit more smoothly and keeping your options open that's the most yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna just try to grind that out. <laughs> All yeah. right. Happy to hear that. Take right. care, Danny, and I guess get back to work. <laughs> yeah, I gotta For go you. To work. Yeah. For you, man. Yeah. yeah, thank you, man. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye.